Hello Tangerines from Oaxaca City. It is October 29th and looking at the Dia de Muertos calendar for Oaxaca, it looks like today is the day when events actually get started here. It is popping up. <laughs> We'll see. Yeah. I, I think we're going to have a full day though. Yeah, a fun filled day with tons of activities. I'm stoked, absolutely stoked. But first we need to get some breakfast. We're at this cool little breakfast spot that was highly recommended and it's called Marco Polo. It's actually a fish restaurant, but they do breakfast that's not related to fish at all. And it looks really good and it's a nice atmosphere. So I'm excited for this breakfast. Maddie's not ready to be on camera yet this morning, but she's over here going mm, mm, as she's eating. So I'll pass on from her okay, that she okay, is okay, enjoying okay, her food. Okay, I'll say it. <laughs> These are enchiladas, sweet sauce. And I got them with cecina, which is a type of like marinated or brushed meat. I forget what it's kind pork. of pork. Mm -hmm. It's super, super good and flavorful. And the sauce is amazing. I just love the food in Oaxaca. Mm. <laughs> that breakfast was really good. I'd go there again. Oh yeah, so tasty. I couldn't finish the whole thing and that seems to be a common theme here in Oaxaca City is that you get these plates filled with food, so much food, it is impossible to finish it. It's all so good. So slowly but surely I'm getting much fatter than when we <laughs> arrived. <laughs> I ate dinner last night and my mole and chicken was so good but I couldn't finish it because it was too much food. And it's so sad, right? I know. <laughs> Usually it's not enough to take it with you to like waste the to-go containers, but like Mmm, and I'm not complaining either. The food is so good. Get, bring it all. Bring it on. <laughs> I thought it was interesting though. This place that we just ate at, it, it was all Mexicans in there besides us. Mm -hmm. So clearly it's a local secret. And we were going to show you some of the festivities last night, but this happened. I don't know why, but I think this is like the greatest thing ever. <laughs> he has his elote car decorated for Dia de Muertos. <laughs> That's awesome. to come out here and see what type of festivities were going on this evening, but it quite literally rained on the parade. You stole my joke! I did, I stole his joke. <laughs> and he's been pouring buckets all evening, so I think But that's it's... okay, because they have baskets over here on their heads with plants in them, so it's going to do good things for that at least. Yeah, but for us, not so much. <laughs> for the rest of everything else, not so much. I think we gotta wrap it up for the Yeah, night. we do. Oh. Didn't their parents tell them not to put bags on their head? That's okay, they're dead. <laughs> they're already dead. Get me out of here! Help! <laughs> Jordan, you're so sparkly. <laughs> Maddie, what do you think of Oaxaca so far? Uh, I think you guys know by now, I love Oaxaca. I love everything about Oaxaca. Food, people, the colorful stuff. The textiles, artesanías, everything, everything. How about Dia de, los, Dia de Muertos? Well, I, I've been enjoying it so far, and I just think it's a special. It's special that we can even be part of this because this is totally not part of our culture at all. So to be sort of like welcomed here to partake in it is like, wow, <laughs> I love that. So I want to say something about. Uh, Dia de Muertos. We've gotten some pushback of people saying no, it's Dia de los Muertos. And that, uh, we thought that last year as well until we made some videos about Dia de los Muertos and we got a bunch of comments saying actually it's just Dia de Muertos. And Dia de los Muertos is actually a 
incorrect back translation from English countries. So it was translated into English from Dia de Muertos to Day of the Dead, and then you translate it back from Day of the Dead, and it becomes Dia de los Muertos. However, if we're wrong on this and our information is incorrect or people have led us astray, please let us know in the comments because we obviously don't want to do the same for you. So I was told by someone that this was a Festival de Catrinas. Wow. But it's actually a festival of altars. Way to throw me under the bus. I'm doing my best here. <laughs> more proof that it's Dia de Muertos. <laughs> you really, really want to prove this. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get to the truth. So we are now at Feria Artisanal, which translates to artisan fair or perhaps maybe handicraft fair. And this is where towns from all across Oaxaca have come and set up booths for clothing and footwear and jewelry and different types of crafts. And it is just like incredible how much culture is packed into this tiny little space. Last time we were in Oaxaca, we took a day tour to see three of the towns, three of the many towns that are within this fair. And it's just crazy. We traveled all over the place and it was a whole day and then here you have this fair where you get to see all of it just like jam-packed in one place. Jordan's found his favorite booth. Okay. Yes, that's it. Dulce de leche. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Limón relleno de coco. Oh, interesting. Oh. Quieres probar? No, no, no quiero algo de Okay, quizás más tarde. Muchas gracias. So this one it says San Bartolo Coyotepec and Barro Negro, meaning black mud. And that's one of the places we went in the tour before. Then we go right here. It's San Martín Tocajete y Madera Tallada, meaning carved wood. And that's another one of the places we went. <laughs> to learn about alebrijes. So we've been to four of the nearby towns to Oaxaca City, and I thought we got a really cool experience of what Oaxaca is all about, but there's so many more towns that I've not only never heard of, but I couldn't even begin to try to pronounce within this little market or a fair, so this is like just way too cool. Do you want to try to pronounce them? No. <laughs> <laughs> the game. I'm going to show the name of the town and have Maddie try to pronounce it. Santa Maria Texcatitlan. Okay, that might be alright. Uh, okay. This one's a little easier. San Pablo Yaganiza? Yaganiza? <laughs> I got this. Teotitlan del Valle. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm getting good at this. Siento cincuenta, ¿verdad? Hay otros colores? De ese ya es el único. Okay. Tenemos este. Así, mir. Son varios colores. Well, we're here at this booth from the town Tlaxiaco. I'm having so much so much trouble with this. Um, we're looking at the the jewelry here. Oh, 
So she's selling jewelry here made of silver with many typical symbols and animals of this town. It's very pretty and you were just mentioning Azteca or Mixteco. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. And you were mentioning that silver is usually nine point no point nine two five. Point nine two five? This mm. is point nine five, so even higher quality. That's very cool. Gracias. Sí. Ciento, ciento veinte, ciento veintiséis, seis. Uh -huh. Ajá. Okay, voy a comprarla. Ese. I hold. I hold. <laughs> <laughs> this rig is so pretty. It was kind of like quiet in there, so I wasn't talking that loud. But I ended up getting this little simple silver ring for 126 pesos. I really like this, and I like picking up small things from time to time to remind us of these fun trips that we're having. I love Oaxaca a lot, so I think I've bought significantly more things here than I have anywhere else. Oh yeah, here, here beats all other cities combined uh -huh, yeah, for your spending. Easily. <laughs> I cannot take her here. So two videos ago, we uh, told you about what not to do when visiting the Riviera Maya, and one of those things in that video was when people are selling jewelry that's claiming it's gold or silver or precious stones to not trust that unless you're an expert because there's a lot of people who are known to sell fakes but i would much i would put a lot more trust in someone from a small town in from the mountains of oaxaca <laughs> than someone in a heavy tourist zone in quintana roo yeah, so. because it's like in the Riviera Maya, the point we even, the reason we even brought that up is because they're preying on tourists who don't really know what the prices are, they don't really know what they're looking for, and then they're thinking they're getting something like exotic or special that they wouldn't be able to find back home. Whereas, like here, it's not flooded with US, well, necessarily, not as much, it's not flooded with. <laughs> with so that type of tourism. So someone uh -huh. who is a Spanish speaker from, like you said, the mountains of Oaxaca. Where there's probably a silver mine. Where there's probably, yeah, exactly. That's not someone who's trying to rip you off so much. <laughs> I got these pumpkin seeds. 10 pesos for this pretty like decent sized bag. They're not just normal pumpkin seeds. I thought they were gonna be toasted pumpkin seeds. And they're that plus, plus deliciousness. <laughs> <laughs> really good spices on them. So now we're trying to find some more because we have to, they were 10 pesos, so now we're gonna give her like a 50 and buy five yeah. more. Well, we have no idea where she went. So I'm just thinking, you know how vendors have their calls, right? Like, Agua Ciel is how the guy like alerts you. He's selling that water. <laughs> Cinco pesos los tamales. <laughs> exactly. Well, okay, this lady didn't have a call, so we're just gonna try to call her. Samia, stay calabaza. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't hide. She has to go find us now. I did the work. <laughs> okay, now that I've sufficiently hidden from embarrassment. <laughs> Gracias, amigo. <laughs> I can't take full credit for that. A good friend of ours from Guadalajara, Emma, you've seen him in some videos before. He sent us this recording of a guy who is selling camote y calabaza. I camote y calabaza! <laughs> And the recording made me laugh. I mean, I if I had been drinking something, it would have shot out of my nose. It was so <laughs> funny. Samias de calabaza. I'm embarrassing her. <laughs> Help! If I could disappear, I would. <laughs> Grande Las Catrinas. Or is it Los Catrinos? Because it's like a guy and a girl. I, I think it's know. a Catrinas, regardless, but what do I know? Could Catrinas only be women? I don't know. Clearly not. It could be a guy with overalls. <laughs> Show me those pearly whites. <laughs> Sometimes people decorate their cars. <laughs> this brand 
brand new place to us called Zandunga, Sabor Ismeño. So that translates to the Isthmus, which is the section between of Mexico, the skinny section between the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean, consisting of, I think, Oaxaca, Veracruz, uh, Chiapas, and one other state, I believe. I can't believe I've never heard of this style of food before. Yeah. Or, or it's one of those things, you know, where you think you haven't heard a word or seen it before, and then you learn it, and all of a sudden it's on billboards and on the radio, people are saying it to you. I wonder if it's like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm really loving this place so far. Uh, yeah. We kind of came here because we may have heard that they had mezcal margaritas, but then we looked at the mezcal drink section and both ended up getting this other one called Yorona, I believe it was. Well, it's still, um, I think it's considered a mezcal type margarita, but mezcal, jamaica, or what is that? Uh, hibiscus, hibiscus, ginger, and pineapple. Ginger, pineapple, yeah. And, and then a star fruit. Oh, it's so it, good and so pretty. How pretty is this drink? So it was 90 pesos, I believe, for the drink. And then we both ordered, and they brought out this complimentary appetizer, which is fish and some spices uh -huh. and some sauces to go along with it. It looks interesting, <laughs> to say the least. I mean, why don't you try it? I will. Okay. Yeah, you can tell it's fish. It's good. So our food just came out, and it already looks so good. I got molito de maíz. It's a type of soup, and mm, it also has costillos. costillos. And I got red mole with fish, and mine was 210 pesos. Like it? <laughs> well, you made quick work of that. <laughs> yeah. I like this place. My food is amazing. That drink was so good and I better make sure the other cocktails are just as good. <laughs> well, so we had every intention of going to Centro, but it's raining buckets again, two nights in a row. <laughs> so instead, we decided to get drinks with our new friend Andy. He actually has a YouTube channel called Timeless Travel Club. His videos are way underappreciated, so if you like watching Mexico videos, you should definitely check out his channel. Andy, what do you think so far of Oaxaca? I love Oaxaca, actually. It feels like I've been here a long time. Yeah. Um, there's a lot happening right now. There's paint and splattered everywhere, even with faces. But um, yeah, I'd like to come back when there's no holiday going on. Yeah. Maddie, you better be careful, otherwise they're going to mistake you for a Katrina. Ooh, all I need is to get my face painted. That's like a huge bucket list item for Dia de Muertos. <laughs> and you're taller with this in your bright shirt. Well, we really want to go take part in some more of the Dia de Muertos shenanigans that are happening here in Oaxaca City before it starts raining, because it looks like that might happen. It's been doing that every evening on us, which is typical Oaxaca weather. Hey, but we're not going to let that ruin our time. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who bought a Rocket Languages course. If you haven't yet, email your sales receipt so that you can get that special promo that we're offering, a, an additional $250 package from Spanish and Go. If you want to take part in that, if you want to redeem that offer, you have until the end of the day for the Rocket Languages sale. We will put the instructions for that down in the description. If you have an amigo that you think would enjoy this video, please share it with them on Facebook or WhatsApp, wherever you use on social media, and subscribe to our channel if you want to see upcoming Dia de Muertos videos that we have. We're hoping to put out at least like, I don't know, 75 more? I'm being ambitious, but we are gonna put out a bunch more, so don't forget to subscribe if you want to see those. Wait, one more thing. <laughs> that bell so that you are the first to be notified the next time we release a new video. <laughs> and we will see you very soon because we're putting out a lot of videos while we're here. <laughs>